Hi everybody, welcome back to Design With Me, Ashley D. We are taking an exciting trip today to Orlando, Florida. And I'm going to show you all our vacation rental and I'm gonna bring you along today for another vlog on things you need to bring for your vacation rental. I'm also gonna cover what to pack in your suitcase for the week because we're staying for the week uh, in Orlando in the vacation home and it's uh, one of those nice um, vacation homes that I told you about in my other Orlando vlog, but this time we're staying in a house that has nine bedrooms, two game rooms, a pool, and a movie theater. So if you want more advice on things to bring, uh, you also want a tour of the house and just an all around vlog about uh, a lot of the stuff that I will be covering uh, this week while I'm at the rental, because this is not just a vacation, I'm also going to be covering business matters for uh, Design With Me Ashley D, as well as my other business, IBA Boutique. And here we go in three, two, one. Hey everybody, it's the morning of the trip. So excited, about to get the kids dressed. Corey's packing the car right now, so we got a whole little system going. Um, hopefully we can leave sometime in the next uh, 20 minutes here. I'm getting ready to get um, Miss Aaliyah and Carver dressed. Aaliyah's here now wanting me to pick her up on camera. I'm gonna get her dressed first and then I'll be back. All right, here we go. Say hi. Hi. We are about to leave. Are you excited? Are you excited, Leah? Huh? Oh, Carver wants to get up here too. There we go, big boy. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> you excited? Are you excited to go to Orlando, buddy? Say see you in the car. See you in the car. <laughs> Everybody. we are now in the car we've got the car all packed and uh, we're headed down to Orlando and we're currently backing out the driveway as I speak I think the kids are more than excited <laughs> and as you can see we are loaded down <laughs> um, it should take us um, with the stops and everything hopefully it should take us about seven hours uh, to get there and um, we're currently going to um, get gas get some ice and then we're headed to Bye -bye. Einstein bagels for breakfast. I'm excited. Picking out, getting ready to pick out and eat my Einstein bagel. I'm not about to film that, but I just want to show you guys we got it. <laughs> and um, we are on the road now. Okay, so um, we're about what, two hours? No, maybe an hour and a half. Hour and a half into the drive. Um, we are just going through making now. Here's everybody's status. Aaliyah knocked out sleep. Carver's back there on his tablet. Carver will probably be up the whole time on that tablet. <laughs> Corey's driving. And I'm over here in the passenger seat, being a passenger. <laughs> I said, so that's why he was over here. That's pretty cool. Big kid. Okay, Carver, you about to drive? There you go, buddy. Now I was looking for you. I should have known you was in here. I was helping him. But he can't stay on the road. Time to get to work. This next tip is for all my fellow business owners. Be on the lookout whenever you go on vacation spots for nice cool places to do your sit downs or your interviews. This is what my mom and I did here. Uh, we wanted to introduce ourselves 
again to our audience and do a sit down interview with the owners and answer uh, questions that we felt were important to our business and our brand. Uh, so just make sure when you do go on vacation, you do look for spots like this. It saves you lots of money to not have to purchase uh, studio time to film things like this. Also take the time to scope out different places as well at your um, rental vacation home. We thought the pool area looked like a great area to release Aaliyah's little B corner line. Uh, that's a part of IBA. So we did take a lot of promo pictures and had a photo shoot. Uh, so these next couple of shots is what we did with the photo shoot. Yeah. And as you're about to see in these next few frames, Aaliyah totally did her thing on the bottom next thing, y'all. She is definitely a professional at this. Um, I also included a couple of shots at the end uh, for you all to enjoy as well. Let me know down below in the comments how well you think she did. Yeah. Hey, Becky, ah. This. Leah. Look. Right here. Look, Grandma. Look. Look. Yeah, I'm funny. Yeah? Okay, well, this. I think. Do this. Come on, do this. Come right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do this. There you go. Do this. Yes, my. Uh, Leah, hold your head up. Yeah, you got it, mom. There you go. We didn't really do much while we were down in Orlando. Of course, Disney was sold out as far as the Magic Kingdom. You have to make reservations now with having their social distancing guidelines in place. Um, Universal, thank God we didn't go there either. They had a two hour wait just to get in the park. Uh, so we did stay around um, the house most of the time. I mean, they have great amenities here. I mean, they have a pool. Uh, we did have a couple of movie nights as you're about to see here. Um, we did end up having a birthday party as well while we were there for one of my nephews. Thank you for your vacation. This vacation was very relaxing. I got a lot of business done uh, with this vacation. And we also had fun using just the amenities. I mean, you pay so much money for these places. You need to stay and actually enjoy uh, the amenities as well. I picked up this toilet paper. You get 12 family rolls for only $5 from CVS. Now, the key to this as well is to go on to angelsoft.com. If you haven't already, sign up for their coupons and you get $2.50 off coupons to use on toilet paper like this. So I was able to uh, score this toilet paper for $3.50. So I got 12 rolls, you guys, for $3.50. I'm a little bougie and I go in spring for the Cottonelle um, now, but back when I was in my college days, and um, needed to get cheaper toilet paper, um, Angel Soft was definitely a nice go-to. And Angel Soft is definitely um, a step above hotel tissue. Going on a trip, especially with a large crowd and you aren't really familiar with their buying habits, um, definitely spring for something in the middle. I wouldn't go for anything too expensive. And of course, it's hard to go from Cottonelle to just a one ply toilet paper <laughs> you know so um, try to be reasonable and I would try to go in the center or in the middle of everybody's needs I have to tell you guys about this one the next deal that I got while I was out today today was a good a great day to be out matter of fact <laughs> these are hand sanitizers these are four gallons of hand sanitizer and I got four gallons of hand sanitizer for five dollars that's where I got these from is office depot office max I got all four of these bad boys for just five dollars and they come with their own pumps to pump the hand sanitizer out of and I believe um, I, the manager was the one that helped me and he said that these were on clearance they had a special these were on clearance and I could get the whole box for just five dollars. Um, Office Depot, Office Max is my best friend when it comes to getting bargains. So um, this is 75 fluid ounces, this big huge bottle of Dawn, and it was six dollars. You can get four of these bad boys for twenty-four dollars, and then depending on 
which way you spend things have racked up your Office Depot, Office Max dollars, you can apply those towards your purchase as well. Um, one thing I do like is they do give um, cash back rewards for certain items. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Batteries are so expensive and they're always offering good cash back deals on their batteries. So I always purchase my batteries from Office Depot, Office Max because usually you get 100% back or cash back value on those batteries. And so if you use that towards this Dawn dish detergent, this is virtually free. A lot of people go to the dollar store and pick up um, dollar soaps because we have 12 bathrooms in this house that we're gonna stay in and I needed to get 12 things of soap. So I found on Target that they had 75 cent soaps. So I did purchase these and these came to, um, with tax and everything, they came up to $9. $9 is so change. So basically for $10, you can get 12 things um, traveling with kids um, they have all kinds of uh, messes or it's just easier to you know if they want a snack or something and I don't have any paper plates it's just easy to hand them something back in one of these paper towels so I always keep a roll of paper towels in the car handy ready to go uh, whenever they need it um, I also make sure that I have plenty of grocery bags or target bags or, or just plastic bags these little bags like this they stay in my car whenever we go on road trips they're just so good for everything for trash um if they mess up clothes you know their dirty clothes can go in these bags really quick um anytime you have your arms full and you have little last minute items uh, that need to go in there that can't maybe fit in the diaper bag or you can't get back to the trunk this is um, a great option um, another thing that I always make sure that I have is tissue so I know you guys are gonna say you can get tissue from so much cheaper different places I just stick to the dollar store for now uh, I usually go to dirt cheap because I found that they are the cheapest place because I can get a box like this from dirt cheap for about 10 cent between 10 and 25 cents a box but because I don't have time to go to dirt cheap I go to the dollar store and that's a dollar so I always make sure that I have this handy I keep several bottles of hand sanitizer on me and I will say y'all like I said check Office Depot Office Max um, they had bigger sizes than this actually I think it was more like the medium size um, handheld bottles of hand sanitizers for just 10 cents. Today was such a great day for deals. One other thing uh, that I did want to talk about, I found this Apothic Red. I was thinking I was getting the best price at Target at $10, right? I was wrong. I can't speak for Costco's and BJ's, but Sam's Club, y'all, has the best deals on alcoholic beverages. This Apothic Red was $7.88, less than eight bucks in Sam's Club. If you are watching this video, you better run to Sam's Club now and get this wine if this is the wine that you love. If you have not tried Apothic Red, trust me, you will love this brand. If you are a wine drinker, let me know your, what you feel down in the comments below. Are you feeling the Apothic Red? Is it too strong for you? Not strong enough? Let me know what you think. Okay, so I don't know about y'all, but whenever I get a good shipping box, I'll hold on to it. Uh, whenever I get good shipping paper or packing paper, um, I'll hold on to it. And that's exactly what I did here. Um, if you want to, you don't have to do this option. This is just um, a budget-friendly way of doing this. It's just keeping or holding on to your shipping boxes. Um, what you can do is you can buy, uh, t you know, those tubs with uh, the lids on those. You can buy those. Those are really uh, nice and easy to transport things in. But because we have um, a lot of heavy things um, going with us, I just felt like a bag either might break or if I'm using a plastic bag it might tear. Okay everyone, um, we are actually leaving now. I did want to give you one little tidbit. Um, I got this little baggie here. I saved my little bags from the retailers. Uh, Kate Spade is a little dirty. <laughs> but um, I put change in this uh, for the tolls. And uh, what I do is, um, I know we're getting ready to go to Orlando in a couple of weeks. So what I do is I um, sit this baggie out and I collect change from the laundry, um, 
from just around the house in different places and I filled this bag up and we started out with um, about $19 in this bag and as you can see we still have a good amount in the bag and I have change in my hand out ready uh, to pay the tolls. Uh, so I did want to give you a little tidbit. Um, a couple of weeks before you get ready to go on your trip to Florida, remember that they have tolls if you decide to take the toll roads, which I do kind of recommend because you do get places faster um, if you're going far. Now if you're just going right down the street or you're going like on a 20 minute drive, yeah. as far as a 20 minute drive without the tolls, uh, then I would definitely recommend to take a 20 minute drive. Um, on the back roads without tolls. Uh, but since we are on our way back home, we're gonna go ahead and hit up these tolls on our way out because it's much faster. It actually cuts off about uh, about 25 to maybe 30 minutes off of our drive. Um, I do not recommend taking I-4. I-4 is horrendous, <laughs> um, especially during this time of day with the lunch rush and everything. Uh, but just remember, to um, two weeks before start filling up your change bag uh, to get change for your time. Behind one of the games at the arcade and uh, one of the things I will say that you need to bring is lots of hand sanitizer. Um, you want to bring also Lysol and um, possibly Lysol wipes to wipe down any games and things. Uh, once you get here you want to have a crew of people set up uh, you want to have a crew of people set up uh, just to prep your vacation home for you. Let's face it, most companies only have a certain amount of time to turn these homes around. Basically, they only have a certain amount of time to go from uh, one vacation renter to the next. And we would like to hope that they can cover all the grounds uh, when it comes to cleaning, but we just know nobody is perfect, right? So you want to do your own, um, some you want to do some sort of cleaning or some sort of prep before you start staying uh, in your vacation rental. And yes, some other things that you want to bring while you are on vacation. You want to bring laundry detergent and you want to bring dryer sheets. So that's self-explanatory, everybody. You want to be able to, you know, wash your clothes while you're on vacation. Um, a lot of vacation homes, uh, some of them do supply you with just maybe one or two loads full of laundry detergent. But who wants to be in that same sulky wet bathing suit for the week, right? Um, I like to toss mine through a wash cycle and through the dryer so I have a nice fresh bathing suit for the next day, right? Here, so here's another tip. I like to wash clothes along the way so that way by the end of the week, I'm going home with clean clothes in the suitcase and all I have to do is toss them right back into my drawer, right? I hate to bring dirty clothes back off of a trip and let's face it some of us are too tired to unpack the suitcase at least for um, a couple of days after we get back and if you have those wet soggy clothes sitting in your suitcase it's just not a good a good deal right uh, so um, just make sure that you bring your laundry detergent and you also bring your dryer sheets for the wash. Another thing I will say uh, with these vacation rentals um, as you can see now I'm in the theater room and you want to bring some movies to go along with your trip or you want to have some sort of uh, fire stick with all your streaming services on it, right? Especially if you're gonna be here for the week, you're gonna need some kind of entertainment if you don't wanna always hang out by the poolside, the game rooms that we can um, go in and play. But I mean, sometimes you just wanna break and you just wanna kinda of sit down and catch up on your shows. And this is um, a perfect way to catch up on your shows. So we definitely brought um, our fire stick uh, with all of our streaming services services on it and we also brought extra movies along as well. Um, another tip that I can give y'all is to bring food. Um, you definitely want to bring your own food and you definitely want to prepare meals if you do not want to cook the entire time. Um, right now I'm going to pop up on the screen our meal schedule for the week. So we didn't feel like we were so drabbed out with cooking the whole time. We actually planned in meals that were already prepared or already prepped for us and then we had certain days where everybody was on their own because they were either going to the theme parks or they were looking around um, Orlando in general and then two people don't feel pressured to come back to the house right just to just to grab a bite to eat uh, so we did want to take those days and plan those out accordingly uh, so we're not draining 
the cooking staff, right? <laughs> or so we're not draining the cooks in the family, right? Uh, so you do want to have those meals printed out because they're on vacation too, right? So for all you moms out there and you don't want to feel drained on vacation with cooking, definitely go for the prepared meals. Uh, so we ordered sandwiches from our, from Publix. Um, we also ordered uh, wings and pizza one night uh, for dinner. And then we also ordered a taco bar uh, for one of the nights as well for dinner. I will also make sure I put our schedule down for eating just to give you all some ideas uh, down below in the description bar. Uh, so make sure you check that out as well. You definitely want to bring what I call your uh, sit by the pool gear, right? So you definitely want to bring your floaties for your kids. You don't want to get those last minute because uh, you will be paying a tourist price for those floaties because let's face it nobody wants to go outside of five miles of where they're going to have their vacation home right so a lot of the times they stick these vacation homes in tourist areas and the stores have marked up their prices uh, or they tend to be a little bit more expensive um, than you getting those at home you also feel like you have to make a rush decision uh, to pick things out as well so you want to make sure that you pick those things up before uh, you leave home so you want to pick up things like um, pool noodles uh, you want to pick up things like goggles if your kids love to uh, swim under the water and look at things um, you also want to bring pool towels you also uh, want to stick in your suitcase bug spray sunscreen for kids and adults um, you also want to pack uh, bug spray for uh, flying insects uh, let's just face it because you're still around the outside you still want to um, be able to have that spray to spray uh, flying insects because let's face it nature is still out there guys so if you're gonna have wasps or you're gonna have um, you know flies and different things um, just swarming around you so you want to make sure that um, you know you uh, bring spray accordingly okay so this next tip is super important okay so you definitely want to take the time to survey especially if you are staying in the house with others that you are not sure of their preference or you have this family you haven't really seen them in a long time so you don't know you know exactly what um, they might like to eat or drink um, so you definitely want to um, poll everybody and find out um, some of the things they like to eat some of the things they like to drink and most importantly this is the important tip y'all you want to make sure that they do not have any food allergies uh, so you want to make sure you get all of that um, up front and ready uh, for when you get ready to do uh, the shopping for the house. I totally recommend uh, going to Sam's Club or Costco's or BJ's um, to buy things in bulk. It's cheaper that way. Um, we brought a lot of uh, the drinks for the house, a lot of juices, um, teas, waters. Um, we also brought different variety packs of sodas. We did purchase um, some of the snack food or, or a lot of really a lot of the snack food um, from Sam's Club as well. Uh, so make sure you get a membership to one of those um, the, to one of those companies I named uh, to pick up a lot of the things that you will need. So while we're on the subject of kitchen gear, uh, you also want to make sure that you bring uh, trash bags. Uh, you want to make sure you bring, I would say about the 13 gallon um, trash bags. Um, if you want to bring bigger trash can uh, trash bags, it's fine. Um, but a lot of, of the vacation homes have the standard size uh, trash can. So you don't want to bring anything uh, too big that'll be sticking out. Um, of your trash can uh, you want to bring uh, just your standard size trash bags um, you also want to keep in mind too here's a tip for um, the trash um, if you're staying like we did for uh, the week you also want to keep in mind your trash pickup day um, every vacation rental home has uh, different days where they pick up trash and you definitely definitely do not want that uh, building up wherever the receptacles are just because you know you want to be able to throw uh, your trash away in the receptacles at the end of the day and you don't want that overflowing and miss the trash pickup day right <laughs> um you know just because it starts to smell after a while and depending on where the receptacles are you'll have to smell that um every, each and every time you come in and out of your vacation home and that's just not something that you <laughs> want to smell right make sure that um you keep in mind of your trash pickup days and you also bring um trash bags and uh one other thing that i will um or one other tip uh, that i'll throw in there 
is you want to bring food savers. Uh, so you want to bring your plastic bags. Uh, we brought a lot of um, gallon um, plastic bags to store things in, um, especially food, um, you know, so that way they can come back and snack on the food later, um, especially if there's anything left over. Uh, you don't want to put a big container uh, taking up space in your refrigerator because let's face it, if you all are on vacation um, with uh, your family and it's um, quite a few of you staying in the house, uh, you want to definitely save your refrigerator space um, for drinks and for other things that have to go in the refrigerator, right? Because you do not get a whole lot of space um, in those refrigerators so you want to make sure that you have uh, the necessary space that you need. The thing I will say uh, along with uh, your food savers is you do want to bring um, you do want to bring aluminum foil you do want to bring plastic wrap um, as well and do not forget to uh, plan or prep your meals. Um, what I mean by that is you want to think of everything that you will need uh, throughout the day or that you would like uh, for your meals uh, throughout the day. Uh, so Corey and I are both coffee drinkers. Um, most vacation rental homes have a regular coffee maker as well as a Keurig um, so we brought um, coffee filters um, as well for the regular um, coffee maker so you want to make sure that you keep that in mind um, if you like the Keurig uh, route you want to make sure that you bring um, your uh, K-pods um, with you bring your sugar uh, for your coffee or for your meals you want to make sure you bring all of your seasonings and you also want to make sure that you bring your um, salad dressings that you will need for your meals so just think throughout the day the things that you would like um, to enjoy throughout the day go through the whole process of actually making those things and storing those things down in a bag beforehand so that way you won't forget them okay so I wanted to say if you are interested um, more in depth um, about the place that we are staying which is magical uh, vacation homes and you also want to see uh, the home that we stayed in last year as well. Um, I have my vacation, I have my uh, vlogs, Orlando vacation vlogs four and five. Uh, those are already up. I will link these up in the cards and also down below in the description bar if you would like to check those videos out. Um, I also have my uh, what to pack cabin trip video. A lot of the things that you will need uh, for your cabin trip, uh, you would definitely need those same things um, whenever you travel to a vacation home. Uh, so if you wanted more of a breakdown of list of, of a list of things to bring, you definitely want to check out that video as well. If you have any questions or anything, certainly let me know down in the uh, comments below. I wanted to thank you all for watching my videos week after week and tuning in. I'm so excited about our audience growing. Have you all seen? We have over 150 subscribers now. Yay! We are working our way up to uh, 200 subscribers. I'm so excited that you all are enjoying my content uh, on YouTube. I certainly enjoy uh, making these videos for you all and giving you all these tips because I wish I had someone to give me uh, these same tips. I wanted to bring all of this information um, to you all out there and I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in week after week and I will see you all in my next video. See you next time.